Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Praveen Kumar Bamusetin. Today we'll see one of the real time use case that is credit card pin updation. Let us discuss the use case. So I want to, as a user, I want to set or reset my credit card pin. When I click on this pin, when I click on this link, it will navigate to this page. So here we need to enter the four digit pin. So when the user enter four digit pin, so it will be enabled like this. So set pin will be enabled. So same need to, same pin we need to enter for two times. So when you click on set pin, it will be navigated to like this, your pin for credit card number. So masking concept has been used, has been successfully updated. So this use case will be done by using PLS scheme. So in this use case, we'll do two validation. One is whether first we need to check whether credit card number is there or not. Okay. So one more validation is that user should enter only four digit. If, like if we enter four digit only, we need to accept. If we enter less than four digit or greater than four digit, we need to throw an error. So in order to solve this requirement, you should have better understanding of the following concept like DDL, data definition language that is create certain DML, data manipulation language that is insert, update. So TCL, transaction control language that is commit and DRL, this is nothing but select statement. If and if this is a condition statement, you should be aware of it. Exception, okay, runtime errors we need to handle by, we can be uh, handled by using exception. Procedure, you should know what is procedure and how to write procedure and how to execute a procedure. So in and out parameters. So anonymous block, you should know what is anonymous block. So account is an aggregate function. Length is used to find the length of the pin and into class to store any variables. Substring is to extract some part of the string. Pipe symbol is used to club two strings into a single, single string. DPMS output to see the result on the console. So if you want to solve this requirement, you should have better understanding of the following concept. So if you know this concept, the requirement would be clear. Clearly you can able to understand. So let us discuss one by one, okay, pipe symbol. So pipe symbol is what I said, it, it will it is used to club two strings into a single string. String one, string two, by using pipe symbol, we can able to conclude pipe symbol is double string. This is the pipe symbol, two pipes we need to use. So we can see an example, PLS scale, PLS scale developer. This is one string and this is other string. I want the output like PLS scale and a developer, okay. So how can we achieve, this is the string, this is pipe symbol and ampersand developer. So by using pipe symbol, we can able to concatenate two strings. Next, you should know some procedure like sample procedure I am creating. Create or replace procedure, procedure name, sample procedure is name of the procedure as begin n. So DBMS output is used to see the result on the console. This is a sample hello world procedure. So this is nothing but creation of a procedure. Next, we need to, once we create it, we need to see the result. For this seeing result, we need to execute the procedure. So we can able to execute the processor by using anonymous block. So begin, procedure name, semicolon, end. So this is nothing but execution of a procedure. This is a sample processor. This is a processor name, we need to execute with semicolon. And if you see the result, we'll get output as hello world. So you should know how to call a processor. By using anonymous block, we can able to call a processor. Next, if and end if. This is nothing but conditional statement. So by one example we can able to see. So create or replace procedure, sample procedure, begin. So if you see here, if this is a conditional statement, if condition true, it will go inside. If condition true, it is not true, it will go to the else part. If 100 is greater than 50, then we need to display as output like 100 is greater than 50. If it is not true, it will go to the else part. Output will be 50 is greater than 100. So by seeing this, we can able to say it will go, it is a true, it will go inside and output will be 100 is greater than 50. So this is the conditional statement, you should be aware of it. True and false condition. So we'll see the requirement, actual requirement. Our requirement is to set the credit card pin. So we need to update the credit card pin. So in order to achieve this requirement, you should have table should be created. The name of the table is CC pin details, credit card pin details. The columns are credit card number, phone number, pin, and modified date, modified by when it got been modified and who it got been modified. So by this, we can able to trace out. So this is the credit card table, CC pin details. Credit card number, pin is the mandatory columns. DML statement, okay. So I'm inserting one dummy record by using, this is my actual like dummy credit card number, my phone number, actual pin. So this is my pin. And sister is like I have created now only, name will be Pravin Kumar. TCL statement, commit, this is a committing. So permanent data will be stored permanently. So DDL statement for creating table, inserting, committing. So this data we need to prepare. If you want to achieve any requirement, we need to prepare this table and data for it. So in this table, CCP details, if I select select star from CC details, we can able to get one record. 
So this remember this pin, pin is four, all ones. Now I'm writing one procedure. So to update this credit card pin. So create or replace procedure, procedure name. So input parameters are credit card name, number and P pin on output will be the message. So as LCC, we are cat two of 100. The purpose of this one is no, it is one comma four, it will extract first to four, minus four, it will extract last four. So we have seen now in the image, like it will extract first to four and last four. Okay, remaining cats will be masking. So for security purpose, we are masking this thing. So first to four and last four, you can able to extract by using Sebastian function. So update statement, update, create card pin detail, set P pin equal to P pin. So this is the parameter and modified just now we are modifying, that's why it's state will be there. And modified is a user, user in the sense like who has logged in. So we need to use the filter condition, credit card number equal to P credit card number. So in the sense like whatever the credit card number passed from the user, those credit card needs to be updated. So that's why we are using fair condition. So P pin from the user, P credit card number from the user. So whatever the user credit card pin, whatever the pin we need to update. So this is the requirement. So completing this transaction, the data will be stored permanently in the database. So P message is what? Your pin for credit card LCC has been updated successfully. So LCC is nothing but the masking first to four and last four remaining cards is XX. So end of the procedure. So hope this is clear. So I'm putting everything in a single window so that it would be easy to understand the code. So credit card number, pin, two inputs, one output. So local variable I'm declaring LCC begin. The purpose of the subester is nothing but to extracting first to four and last four for masking guns we are using. So update statement, P pin, modified date equals to system modified by equal to user, the who logged in the system, it would be user. So credit card number is PCC number, okay. Counting so the data will be stored permanently in the database. So P message, your pin for credit card number. So pipe symbol is to concatenate this string and this string and this string. So LCC is nothing but masking concept. So this is the end of the processor. Oh, this is clear. Now, this is nothing but creation of a processor. Now, we want to execute the processor. How can we execute a processor? We can able to execute the processor by using anonymous block. Declare one variable I am declaring, msc. Begin. This is the processor name. Two parameters. So, this is a credit card number and pin. So, DVMS output msc. So, output will get like your pin for credit card 454, 4514 in the sense like first to four and 2377 is last to four and remaining cards xx has been updated successfully. So first, what are the credit card number? We need to extract first to four and last to four remaining characters in xx. So this can be achieved by using SMSTR. So this is clear. So if you see here, this is an existing pin by using, by using execute processor, I'm updating to three, four nines. So Apex user, okay. So we'll see like, this is a positive scenario. Now we'll see the negative scenario. Negative scenario in the sense like what? If I pass zero, zero, zero as credit card number and zero as pin, what will happen? If you see here, output will getting is your pin for credit card zero, zero has been updated successfully. So this is like, it is having bugs. So first we need to check whether credit card number is there or not, okay? And one more thing is that if you see, we are expressing zero value, pin is, length of the pin is one, but it is also accepting. So we need to do one, val two violation of this, whether credit card number is there or not. And second violation is that the length of the pin should be four characters. So this can be achieved by using exceptions. Like if you see here, these are the two conditions we need to validate. So whether first, first condition is that credit card number is there or not. And second condition is that the length of the pin should be four digits. Otherwise, we need to throw an error. So we can modify the existing code. So we should do whenever writing any code, now you should make us a positive and negative scenarios so that we should avoid bugs. So credit card number, P pin, P message. So two input parameters, one output parameters as L count local variable, LCC where care to 
CC length exception. So I'm declaring one exception that is, this is used to check the length of the length of the pin and this is used to LC, two exceptions I'm raising. Two exception I'm declaring. One is CC length exception, CC invalid exception. So credit card length and credit card invalid, okay. Select a count of star L count from CC pin details where credit card number equals to user entered. This is nothing but parameter, input parameter. First, we are checking the count, okay. We are checking the count whether credit card number is there or not. If credit card number in the sense is there in the sense like it will give one. So L count will be one. So L sub -st here, okay. It will give, it will extract first to four and last to four and remaining cards masking down some. So if you see here, I will tell, I will explain one more time. The main purpose of this one, this select statement is to, I'm checking the count. So checking the count, how can we check the count by using count of stars? Count of star, it will give number like one zero. So if credit card number is there in the sense like count will be one. So the, in the sense like L count will be one, one equal to one, this condition true. And one more condition I'm checking what length of the pin should be four. So if whatever the user entered value is four, then one, two, three, four, it will be four character, then it will be four. So if both conditions are equal, if both conditions are true, it, then only it will go in same. Other will go to LC block. Hope this is clear, okay. If it is true now, it will go inside. If the length of the pin and the credit card existence is one, then it will go inside and it will do updation and it will commit those transactions and display the user like the message, okay. Suppose if length of the pin is not equals to four, then it will raise crazy length exception. Suppose if it is failed here, it will come to here. In a similar fashion, if you see, if record is not there, then if it length, length L count will be zero, then you go to this block. Hope this is clear. One more time, I'll explain this thing. Before updating, we need to check whether credit card number is there or not, and length of the pin should be four digits. If it is not, then we should throw error. So, where credit card number equals to PCC underscore. This is the user entered credit card number. So first I'm checking whether credit card number is there in the table or not. If the number is there, L count will be one. If it is not there, L count will be zero. And one more condition is that user entered pin should be four digit. If it is four digit, then it will be four equal to four. This is true. And one equal to one, this is true. And it will go inside this process, inside this block. And it will perform masking concept. First to four, last four, piping. Okay, then update statement, update CC pin details, set what we need to set, we need to set P pin, modified data equal to state and modified by equal to user. Who are the login? That is nothing but he will, like, user will be, user will get the name. Okay, and where credit card equals to credit card number equal to PCC number. So if everything is now, we need to commit so that data will be stored permanently in the database. So output should be displayed to the user like your pin for credit card has been updated successfully. So if, if condition failed in a sense, like suppose if length is not equal to four, then this condition failed, it will come to LC block. So if length is not equal to, then we need to raise exception like CC length exception. So this is nothing but raising or else like suppose if pin length is not equal to four, but length of, but credit card is not available, then L count will be zero. Then we we'll raise CC length in value. If else if, else if, and if, okay. So based on the condition, it will go to the particular block. Hope this is clear. Conditional statement I'm using based on L count and length. So then we need to handle those exception. How can we handle those exception by using exception block? Exception when CC length exception. This is the length exception. So when credit card length is not like pin entered value is it's not four, then we need to say to the length of the pin should be four digit only. Okay, we should not give greater than or less than four. One more exception is what? When CC invalid then in the sense like credit card number is not there. So credit card number, when the user entered wrong credit card number, then we need to say like credit card number is not valid. So end CC pin addition. Okay. So if you see, this is the exception handling. So one is for pin validation, other, other one is for credit card number existence. So this is the exception part, like exception handle we need to use. CC length, this is for length of the pin. This is nothing but for invalid credit card number. So now we'll execute the processor by using anonymous block. So if you see, this is valid credit card number, but by passing what zero, zero in sense like length of the pin is one. So we'll get the output like length of the pin should be four digit only. If you see here, user is passing zero only, like one digit only, but we, we need to show to this message like length of the pin should be four digit only. Then user will rectify this one and we'll enter four digit. 
in a similar fashion we'll see one more one more ne native scenario so if you see here here one two three four is length of the pin is four digit but what credit card number we are passing zero so in the sense like it's an invalid credit card number then when you say zero credit card number is not valid okay then he need to enter valid credit card number only so this is the negative one more negative scenario okay so hope this is clear like if you want to do anything you know like if you develop any code no, we should make use of positive and negative scenarios so you need to understand coding standards when you're do, doing anything you no, know, any developing any code we need to follow coding standards so parameter should be like p underscore parameter name so it should be like p underscore cc number p underscore pin local variables we need to give l underscore local variable name l count lcc so by seeing this one you should say this is nothing but parameter this is nothing but local variables so function processor package name shelf name so table name function name processor name package name everything should be like self explanatory in the sense like by seeing that name you should identify okay this is related to this purpose so it should be you should give the name in a name such that so by seeing that name you can able to understand okay this is related to this this thing so by seeing this one you can able to understand okay cc pin updation in the sense like this is a credit card pin updation hope this is clear like uh, a new batch is going to start on august 3rd, 2022 like if you want to like if you want to like expert in PLS, you can able to join so that you can able to learn so many things like real time how the real time work will be there like coding like you just now we have seen coding standards okay how the how we need to do unit testing positive scenarios negative scenarios just now we discussed no positive negative scenario those all things will be explained like if you want to be expert in PLS, you can able to join this way so you can able to reach out on this number i will be available on this thing so if you like the content subscribe and share the channel thank you for watching